Goodness me, have we got a special show for you today. Today, I took Luca down to Ned Trawatha's shed in Woodbridge, Tasmania, to the Maritime Trail to make a special boat building mallet. What an unreal adventure in honour of Luca's achievements working with his little wooden boat. Ned is a boat builder of legendary status and he has a speciality working with exquisite Tasmanian timbers such as hewn pine, celery top and also king billy pine which is the timber that Luca's boat is built out of. So we thought we would pick his brains and learn to handle some tools from the master craftsman himself. This is Ned's showroom, full of beautiful statues, gorgeous bowls, even wooden tongs, and also his very special instruments. Ned makes ukuleles as well. They're really something pretty, almost too good to play. But as he told us today, you simply can't have beautiful things made of this timber and not use them. Even the opportunity to hang out in Ned's workshop is quite an experience. We were so thrilled today, though, to find that Bernie, one of Luca's boat granddads from the Wooden Boat Guild of Tasmania, was joining us for what the course. Hey, did you go electric in the end, or are you doing well, it? Well, at the moment, we're just putting an outboard on today. Ned started us off on the workshop by practising using the tools on scrap pieces of timber, just to get the hang of it and feel how wood grain performed under each different tool. Get a feel for the pressure you've got to use. Yeah. Light. Otherwise, it's yeah. Really grabs, doesn't it? Around the edge of it. And you can get some. Can you get replacement blades? Yeah. Okay, I can't seem to get the bicep. What have I done? Going the wrong way. Yeah. You find more than me about. Just gotta find the right amount of pressure. Long, slow action. God, what have I done? So if you if you don't push away, oh, you come you turn around and come oh. this way. Yeah. Because that see those that range one. Yeah, like start this, so cut and push all the way out. Lift the lever and cut it. Just make sure we're going to get that get that cut started. Just a little bit. So, what we really, what we all we need to do, what did we say, Bernie? Which was the, which was the head? Which was the head? Okay. Right. Now, if we put that block on there, flush. Yep. Leave a bit. Just no, because no. I stand up. Remember, we're going to mortise it. All oh, right. Um, and put a little mark there. Then. We want to have a shoulder on it like that. So what I did to create that shoulder, I just come come in that far, and then I did the same from that end. So now, so that's going to be something like that. Yeah. Those lines are right. Don't worry about that. Yep. That's not important at the moment because this is the line we're working to. So square those lines all the way around. You can do the same on the other end. That's part of my uke building. That, uh, hold, that holds my uke uh, yeah. to, to stop, go slow, and make and get your contact. So you know you, you won't get it going like that. Just get it bend it down before you pull it. Yeah, and you might find. Now these, you know, you can't 
just go with that. You have to actually feel where it's coming. I've even got some other uh, got more spark trays. I've only just bought these. Those ones are really good. See how they they knock down flat. So that's these ones. Which one are you going to work? You're going to work towards that one. Yeah. The so these ones have they're really they're flat. So when they um, Nice. Sitting all right. See, it's, it, it, it bites a, a little bit into the timber. Yep. And then give that a whack down. Yeah. Just hold that still. Yep. You play must be. Twenty-six, which is slightly larger than that hole, which is good because I don't want to go yeah. inside that at the moment. We're going to take a little bit off to get to get the nice flush fit. So if you want to get that on there, just hold on to the top. See how I've got my finger, yeah. finger and thumb on the top, and do it that way. Um, yeah, but you know, you know that that's um. Oh, that's a horrible one. Yeah, you can't do it. I, I just put a bit of, a bit of pencil in there and then put it on the inside. We, we made sure that it was equidistant. So it's 15 mil, 15 mil. It's about 16, 16 and a half on this side, but that's okay. It's sitting there, sitting there nicely. So I've put a, a mark there, one here, one there, one like that. That's showing me what this size is. Now if we cut, if we cut to that line or a little bit over it, it's gonna be loose. So what we'll do is just come slightly inside that line and we cut to the inside of the pencil line and if we need to we can shave a little bit off this because if you look yeah. at that last one that prototype yeah. I did I was really quick on it and it's loose which is no big drama we can fix that but I'd rather if we can get a tight fit that would be good so that line there I'll just come to the See, I'm not coming right onto that pencil line, I'm coming just inside it. So, that's what we have to carefully take out. Now, to get that, to get that cut, and have your, um, cut it, we don't want to cut it like, like that. So our, whatever our guide is, is on the inside of the cut because if we come out, mm -hmm. we're on this. If, if we go, if we're cutting this way and we come in here, it's no, it's no big deal. But what, you, what you'd have to watch, and you have to get that really firmly held on there, 
and start the cut right in the corner and just go really gentle. Don't follow through because we're going to come out on this edge. So get that started really gentle and then watching your fingers start in that corner and come back the other way. Um, because we want to see this is much harder timber than the hill so it will bruise into the it'll not only will it push it apart we can drive it right in because it will actually bruise into the hewn as well so i'm expecting it to probably go down about that far Rest of it that's nearly done so that means the rest of it once that's done you can um, you can do the, the, the final sanding once that heads up. <coughs> so here a bit you can just put a little bit and it doesn't need a lot yeah if I put a little bit there like that the wedge the wedge is going to take the glue down yeah down with it and that theoretically should be sufficient to hold it. So there you go. Let's do it there. There's your wedge. Yep. Line that up. Line that up. And drive it down nice and straight. So I reckon that's um I reckon that's pretty good mate. Pretty good. A little bit. I don't think we're gonna break the wheel. No, no, it doesn't, doesn't want to go any further than that. So you can trim that bit of blackwood off. Just here. Well um you just trim the blackwood off for the moment and let that blue off it go off a little bit. And you can you can finish doing your um, your sanding, yep. and sanding your handle and shaping that. Then we'll come back and deal with it. You can even leave that out if you want and just round yeah, the edge. I, I, but I was I'm, going to say, I reckon yeah. I'll just leave that. I like how that looks. See it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can you can carefully um, sand around that edge. Uh, yeah. Take that little sharpness off that yeah. edge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which makes it more difficult now to sand that off. But that's okay. Yeah, we probably should have done that first. Yeah. Because um, usually I'd, I'd, I'd put them flat, but that's okay yeah. like that. Yep. Well done, mate. Great. Good and job. Now I will keep sanding it, I guess. I'm holding it flat, but I'm not trying to drive it in. I'm working it backwards and forwards across and turn it over. find me here when the world thinks that I've disappeared you know just where to look you know just where to look and you you have a heart of gold and I look forward to growing old Cause I'll be old with you Oh, I'll be old with you Well, that's about it for our video today but you make sure that you come back in a little while because we are about to head off to sydney to adventure around looking at all of the amazing herons up there we're going to have a wonderful trip i'm just sure of it and i hope you guys can all join us as we trek around sydney harbour if we're lucky we might even get to meet some of the sydney raiders group we're really looking forward to it Hope to see you then, and thanks for joining us today. 
please, if you can, like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.